Hey everyone, Exo Man here, and I'm out picking some okra today in my okra patch. Uh, this video is for, for those of you who might be interested in okra and have never grown it. I don't know, there might not be that many people interested in okra. I, I really like okra. I've been eating it since I was a boy. One way or another, pickled, sautéed in olive oil uh, with balsamic vinegar or even fried as a young man I ate it and uh, I've always put it in my gumbo but anyway look here I want to show you uh, what's going on with this okra I'll come out here today and I'll pick I'll pick these large pods yeah look how large that is that's just grown like that in one or two days and when you pick these guys you really have to when they grow this big they get they get pretty tough if you use if I use this at all I'll pickle it or I'll put it in, I'll chop it up and put it in my gumbo and saute it real good but when you pick them you have to be careful not to pull the whole plant out of the ground so you want to get it but you this is the way I do it I put my finger under the crown there and I really rotate it downwards to snap it off throw that in my pot this I might pick them when they get a little bigger than this because if I don't now I'll show you, and tomorrow this okra will be almost this size. I'll try to, you know, almost as big as, well, the one I just picked, like this one here. I'm going to pick this one. I'm getting red ants on my face. Isn't that nice? So, starting off my pot here, and uh, look at the size of this. I swear. This, this was not here two days ago. This wasn't even a third of this size yesterday. So once you get your crop going, I don't know if I'll be able to do this. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut that with my knife, which I have in the pot. Once you get this crop going, you have to stay on top of it, or you're just going to have okra that's too big to uh, enjoy. And uh, the size, the smaller they are, the more tender they are. And I really like them about this size, but uh, it's not a very cost-effective crop. Uh, bigger ones, I can, uh, later in the season, I'll leave them on the uh, plant and let them dry out, and I'll have seeds for next year. Okay. Yeah, I bet some of you did, who don't grow over didn't know it really got that big. Well, that's because... Uh, they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't sell much of it if they let it grow this, this large. It gets very fibrous, like I say. And it's not a very enjoyable vegetable. That, that's a really good size right there. A little smaller would be even better. All right, so I just wanted to I might get some of these peppers and put them in my okra. So, give you a little perspective on growing okra. Oh, and they're easy to grow, very hardy plants. They seem to be pretty insect uh, tolerant. And I don't like to spray my plants a lot. I, I spray them in as infrequently as possible. And another thing that I would point out is most of my okra, the vegetable itself on the plant, never gets sprayed. I, I don't, well, very rarely, you know. A lot of this okra you're seeing has started and been picked, started and finished um, after the last spray. So I'll only spray maybe three times a, in the whole season. You know, everybody, every couple of weeks or every three weeks, maybe. So. Thanks for watching everyone.